What's going on YouTube? We are back again with another video and you guys already know what we're on. We're on that vlog style. Huge shout out to Brian and Gunner because I've been watching their shit and they've been doing this. And it seems like all their fans are liking it, so I said why not? Let's try it. But yeah, anyways, this is the room. Quick little room check right here. So we got the got this little section over here. We got the bed. A little candle action. The MacBook just chills here because it's got no action at all. And then we got the main part of the setup. This boy right here. But yeah, this should be a super short, simple video. I'm just gonna be showing you guys how Yachty did that walk. That effect right there. That's what we're gonna be making today. It's not actually real vibrato. Um, it's an effect in auto-tune. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can do it with stock FL Studio stuff as well. So without further ado, let's jump into FL Studio. All right, so we're back at the setup. I got FL Studio pulled up here. Oh, and by the way, I'm trying out this new thing on the camera. It's called S-Log. If you know about cameras, you might know about it. So if it looks a little grainy, that might be the reason. But I guess we'll find out once I'm editing this. Also forgot that I don't have a mic for the camera. So I'm also interested how that sounds. So let me know. Might have to get a mic for the camera so we can do those like little vlog style things. But anyway, so here is a fresh version of FL Studio. And then I was already working on this before just to try and figure out how to do the actual sound. So I have the beat right here. So yeah, we just set the BPM to 150 because that's what it is. And I'm going to show you guys a lot of sauce here on how I actually create templates and how to actually use FL Studio for mixing. So the first thing we're going to do here is obviously we want this track to be routed to a mixer track just in case we have to do any mixing to the beat. So you can go to your mixer track or your mixer right here and I'm going to click insert one. Right click here. There is something right here that says assign to new audio tracks. And what this is going to do is assign this mixer track to this playlist track. So basically anything, any wave that's in this track right here is going to automatically be routed to this mixer track. So you can right click and click A and it's going to do that automatically. All right, for some reason it's going to this one. So I'm just going to click delete that. And then if you click F2 on this mixer track and name it beat, and then let's just make it red. It's going to auto update as soon as you click this. And now you can see anything that goes here is going to go to your beat track. It's just for easy mixing. And then if I want to find the key of my song, what I'm going to do is add auto key. So if you have Auto-Tune Pro, I believe it comes with this. So you can just use this whenever you want. But this basically helps you find the key to the beat. I'm pretty sure you have to play it, but it's already saying C minor. Yeah, there we go, G minor. And then you can click send to Auto-Tune. And any Auto-Tune that you have open in FL Studio, so say, for example, you had Auto-Tune on every single one of these tracks, and you click this send to Auto-Tune button, it's going to automatically send that key to Auto-Tune so you don't have to go and do it to every single one. So it's just a fast way to fix your Auto-Tune's key. All right, so now what we're going to do is just pull up a vocal preset so we can actually start getting the sound down. So I'm going to pull up my Juice World preset just because I feel like it'll fit the song the best. It's just a super smooth, easygoing preset. So we're going to load this up, and then we're going to do the same thing we did before, right-click and click A, and that should auto-do that, and it did. So now anything we record into this playlist track is going to go straight to mixer track number two, which is exactly what we want. I'm going to do a little adjusting to this. I'm going to have the reverb after everything else, so there's just a reverb and the delay at the end here. For the Juice World one, it's a little bit different, but this is just how I want it for this track. And then first thing I'm going to do is just actually try and record like that initial hook in Poland. So let's try and do it. I took the All right, so that's pretty much all we're gonna need. We're just gonna repeat that. So let me make sure the sounds all right. I took the to Poland. Yep, that sounds just how I want it to. So, so now I'm gonna show you the first step to actually getting that vibrato sound. Now, if you don't know what vibrato is, it's basically just a slight change in pitch to your vocal. So it's just gonna basically go like this, move up and down. And obviously you could do that with your voice. Really talented singers can do that. Obviously I can't do it very well, but it's like a, I took the walk, you know, like that, that shake. But the first way to do it and the easiest way to do it is you sing a constant key like that and then you're just gonna let auto-tune do the work. So if you click, so if you click this advanced tab right here, there's a vibrato section right here. And what we're gonna do is just change it to sine wave. And we're probably gonna have to mess with the rate the pitch amount and then amplitude amount are probably the only knobs we're going to touch. So I'm going to bring the rate up because I know it's supposed to be a little faster, probably around seven. Let's see how this sounds. I took the wild. Yeah, there we go. You're starting to get that sound. Let's bring this amplitude up. So just it's the amplitude is basically going to make the pitch more drastic compared to if it's lower, it's going to be like this. So let's bring this up a bit. I took the wild. 
to Poland. See how that sounds? We bring the pitch mount up a little bit too. I took the wire. I took the wire to Poland. And that if you have auto tune, that's all you have to do. You get that effect super easily. So we're just gonna repeat that over and then and then the cool part with this is you can't really tell that much, but Yachty did do a verse on this and he just, he kept that effect on. He never took it off. He did, he obviously added some of the ad libs that you can notice a lot, but the vibrato is actually on during his verse. And you can't really tell unless you hold something out for a long time. So if you don't hold it, you can't hear it at all. So I'll just give you guys a quick example of that with a little freestyle. I took the So yeah, I mean, it's literally as easy as that. That actually sounded pretty good. I actually like that. But now, of course, I'm going to have to show you guys how to do this in FL Studio without auto-tune. And what I'm going to do is just go to that preset again, and we're going to turn this off. So now if we play it, it's just going to be one consistent key instead of hearing the vibrato. I took the now the way to do this is super easy too. You're going to just double click your vocal file and your pitch range right here should automatically be set to two. But if it isn't, just make sure it's at two, then right click this button and go to create automation clip. Then you're going to right click this button, go to channel settings. And then you're going to click the LFO knob right here. And then you're going to have to mess with these settings right here. So we're going to obviously adjust the speed because we want this a lot faster. And then we're just going to have to listen to it for uh, quite some time until we get the, the speed down. Oh, you're going to also want to go in here and change this to stretch just so your vocal's not moving around the whole time because that can get very annoying. But yeah, so we're going to right-click channel settings again and just mess with this until we get something we like. We're also going to want to mess with the tension so it's more of a it's more of a wave and not a sawtooth. As you can see, this is super sharp, and if we bring it up, it's more of a, like a sine wave. I took the so obviously that sounds terrible. So we're going to increase the speed a bunch here. Maybe bring this tension knob down just a little bit. Kind of hard to see. Maybe we'll zoom in a little bit. Mess with this tension a little bit. Kind of just like that. And then mess with the amount. I took the All right. So this kind of works. Obviously, it does not sound as good as we want it to yet. But the biggest issue right now is because it's adjusting the pitch and then going into auto-tune. And auto-tune is trying to correct it as we're adjusting it. So one way to make this sound a lot better is just is take the wave file we're messing with here and we're going to hit control alt c on our keyboard to consolidate this and just make sure you enable everything that you want here. We're going to click start and then you have this and we're going to delete this and and then we're just going to mute this track and then we're basically just going to do the same thing. Go to stretch, right click, create automation clip, right click, oops, right click right here, channel settings, enable the LFO, increase that speed a bunch. Zoom in here, right click, channel settings, boom, and then we're going to bring this speed up, just that uh, tension, and then just bring this amount down. I took the wire, I took the wire, I took the wire, to Poland. There we go, and you know, I guess that, that works. Obviously, it's not as good as auto-tune. I mean, if you're an artist, I don't understand why you haven't invested in auto-tune at this point. It's pretty cheap. You could do the monthly plan. And I'm, even, I'm not even sponsored, but you might as well. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to make this file, this exact one right here, available for download. It's going to include everything, all the vocal files, and it's even going to include the Juice World preset, or at least most of it, just the main vocal. But if you guys want that, it's going to be available down in the description below. So you can always click that link to grab it. But that's all we got for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.